Moving on to race number two then, and the second event on Saturday. Class four, thousand metre dash, one of two over the minimum trip, headed by Amazing Knight. Uh, the blinker's on for the first time. He's first up since uh, July. Champion Pride down in class. First start for him since January. Glen Eadie Generals with a headgear change. Visor, United We Stand, very consistent, but beaten favourite on his last three starts. The debutants, there's five of them. Forte for Casper Power, Infinite Power, Ben O Young, Joyful Win, Ricky You Little Player, David Hayes, and Lucky Boy. For Michael Chang, down to Sparkling Dolphin, Comfort Life, and all the way, who almost went all the way last time, Tom beaten half a length at a big price. Alexi Bedell takes over from Victor Wong. Amazing night, United We Stand and Comfort Life are the horses that have been on the road as well. Yeah, five on debut here, Andrew. So uh, some variance potentially with the speed map, but Sparkling Dolphin, he's got early uh, speed. And as to does the uh, newcomer Infinite to Power for Rabino Jung and Matthew Chadwick, although he's had a lot of uh, veterinary issues, Infinite Power, he'll be somewhere near the speed. He's got good enough pace as a five year old. Comfort Life there, United We Stand. He can probably be up there, or Jerry Chow can opt to uh, take a sit with United We Stand. Next line, amazing night. Little player is one of the debutants. He's sort of midfield with one of the other debutants, Joyful Win and Lucky Boy. Glen Ely Generals will probably go back from gate number one. Here is United We Stand. He's under a good hold here as he comes down. As uh, Tom said, he's been beaten favourite in his last uh, three starts. Prior to that, he did win when he was favourite. So, uh, look, he goes nicely and he's been uh, consistent. Jerry Chow aboard him as well. So he's going to take uh, that uh, weight off. Uh, looking at Forte here, I thought uh, his trial has been really good leading to this. Tongue tie, cross nose bend on. That's him in the blue saddle cloth. Just a nice quiet gallop down the back with Joe Marrera aboard, and Joe will ride him on race day as well. Another one of the first starters here, little player uh, Blake Sin doing the work on him. He'll ride him on race day. He's had three trials, and he's 1101 pounds. And he looks really fit for a, a good run fresh up as well. OK, we'll have a look at uh, some of these first starters in a moment. We'll start off, though, with I think probably one of the the key form races. Uh, Tom, this is Goko winning hard up against the rail. Sparkling Dolphin and won the start before, but uh, all the way flashes from the back at any old price. He's come from a long way back, hasn't he, all the way on this occasion. He much improved run at huge odds. Now, he got squeezed up at the start, but he really charged home late there on the, the far side in this uh, race, didn't he? Uh, Comfort Life was a better run from uh, him, and uh, also Sparkling Dolphin, he played his part, but uh, certainly a big improvement there from the Millard train runner, Paul. Yeah, he ran well, didn't he? Um, I haven't put him in. I'd just like to see him do it again, but look, uh, there was a definite improvement and there was 200 odd to one. Yeah, it certainly was. Um, without the claim, though, the horses behind him were a bit better off at the weight. So United We Stand, uh, Paul, he's very consistent, um, but he's favoured again. And as we've said, he's been beaten favourite his last three starts. Yeah, he's, a, he's a, the benchmark horse for the, mm. uh, the horses that have run, haven't they? And he always runs consistently, only won the one, but then he, he's been placed in the other three. Uh, the seven pound claim is uh, well for him once again. I mean, he's had that all those four starts. He won easy enough in the trial. He's going to run his race again. I've got one to beat him, but I've still got him in there for second. Yeah, likewise, got one to beat him. And he's been creeping up in the weights to this horse. He's gone from uh, winning with 123 pounds back up to the 124. So I think he's a, a genuine top four chance, though. What about this one, Tom Forte, the first starter for Casper Fans through the ISG sale? That's Hot King Prawn out in front. It was Dan was very good. Uh, she was a, a railway winner in New Zealand, multiple uh, group uh, placings and uh, six million out of the ISG sale. Found the line nicely here behind uh, Hot King Prawn. I think he's next to uh, Juno Park there as well. Also liked his trial on the, the turf. So um, gate speed's only fair. So I'll be interested to see where he does end up in the, the run forte. Yeah, I'm going to go with him, actually. I, I have liked his trials. And this one here, you can see Infinite Power. Another one I think he's got a really good chance here. He's had six trials. He's 11.29 pounds. I uh, mentioned little player in the track work. But Infinite Power, uh, he's won a couple of his trials and uh, he did beat for, uh, Joyful Fortune in this trial. Yeah, that's him over there on the, the far side. He's had a lot of issues, issues with the left front, uh, left hind and right hind. He's had surgery on those, tendon injury, uh, bone stress injury to the right pelvis, plus a few other issues. So he has been in the wars, but have liked the way he's trialled. Yeah, Joyful Fortune, if you're not aware, bolted up on his only start last season. We'll see him later on. He's probably going to be the shortest price favourite of the day, Paul. But uh, you know, his stand's come up pretty short here, really. He has, isn't he? at 2.6. So I'll, I'll each way price there about Forte, I think. Um, I've got a win there, but he's like 3.2 a place as well. So we'll take a chance with him on debut. He, he looks a really nice recruit here through the ISG sale. Uh, United we stand uh, the hardest to beat. Infinite power, another one of the first starters. And Glenelli General, who has won down the straight thousand before, he's rated 57 and he has won off that 57 rating before. So 6, 4, 7 and 3. 
Same top three as Paul, but I've actually thrown in all the way into uh, fourth uh, position there after his uh, good run last time out. With the new coming, happy to take a chance at him, especially at the price at the moment. 8.3, 3.2, Joe Marrera uh, for Casper Founds. United we stand, infinite power, have liked the way he's trialled, and all the way on that last start effort, I think it's worth including. So 6, 4, 7 and 14. Six and four, the numbers that keep cropping up uh, there through the numbers. I've got both of them in as well in our second event. The other 1,000 metre races comes up as race number eight. A reminder, the feature race comes up as race number seven on Saturday. That's the Panasonic Cup.